All right, guys, how you doing? This is Shahani Motors coming at you again with another video. And today we have this Kia in the shop. And this Kia, the customer bought it to us because they just had the engine replaced a few months ago, um, actually at the dealership. And the engine was actually knocking again. So we had to, um, basically what we did today is we were going to eliminate whether it's coming from the engine, internal noise, or it's an external noise. Now, it can be really confusing because sometimes it can sound like the engine is knocking inside internally, which is, you know, very costly because most, more than likely the engine has to be replaced. Or it can be an external noise. Um, most modern engines, they all, they all have belts and um, they have belt-driven components. Now, the belt-driven components sometimes can go bad, such as the alternator, um, compressor, AC compressor, water pumps, and they can make noise which sounds similar to when an engine fails internally. So we're going to cut right to the noise first and then we're going to go talk about how we can check it. All right, guys, now we're back. So there's two basic ways. We're going to come over here to the bench. There's two basic ways we check um, an engine noise. So first is going to be a simple mechanic stethoscope that we use. Um, these are very effective. We're going to show a little bit later on um, exactly how we use them. But basically, we just put it to uh, different parts of the engine. Um, and we can see where the noise is more pronounced. Um, second way, as you can see, so if you're looking down in the engine here, this is where we were hearing most of the noise. Right here, Ryan, if you want to show. Um, by the pulleys. So they're all pulleys that are belt driven, different, different components. So we're hearing the noise more on this side. So now it's, we have to determine is the sound coming from one of the accessories or is it coming from inside the engine? So um, as you can see, this is actually for this car. So we have... Uh, these are all the components, and then this is the belt that's driving all the components. So you have the water pump, you have the tensioner, the idler pulley, you have the alternator generator, you have the another idler pulley, you have the AC, and then you have the crank pulley there. So basically, what we're going to do is we're going to remove the belt while uh, we're going to remove the belt, then we're going to start the engine. If the sound is no longer present, then that's actually a good sign, means that the sound is not from something that's internal, because Basically, this is the crank pulley, and this is what spins all the time with the engine. But when you have the belt, it spins all of these. So when you take, the crank, take it off, take off the belt, none of these are going to spin except for the crank pulley, which is always going to be spinning. So that basically eliminates this, and then there's all of these. So the, the crank pulley, internal engine, that's all eliminated. Now we have one of these can be the culprit. If the noise is not present when the belt is removed. So and then, then that's when, you know, when we would spin all the pulleys individually, and then we would actually, before we took the belt off, we would listen in with a stethoscope. So we're gonna show you guys some footage of that now. Um, so what we're gonna do now is we're going to listen in at different points um, of the, the drive belt, where the drive belt is connected. So different pulleys, different, the alternator, compressor, uh, and the water pump. So I'm just going to show you too. We've already checked it. I'm going to try to actually see if the mic's going to pick it up. Um, the noise is coming from the water pump. So uh, Ryan, if you want to show this. So I'm going to see if the microphone will pick it up. Okay, that's the water pump. So it's a little, I mean, so that's the alternator. It's a little bit loud, but not too loud. Now, let's go on over here to the water pump. You want to be careful not to hit the, the pulley and the belt. I can clearly hear it in there. Let's see if it picks it up on the mic. So 
from what we see, the water pump is making a lot more noise. There's a bearing inside that drives the water pump pulley. Um, they often go bad. It's very common. Um, so we're going to take this thing apart. And... All right, guys, this is the engine with the drive belt removed. Now, when we take off the drive belt, what we're doing is we're isolating the noise. So now that you can see there's no noise, so now it's we know that it's not an internal engine noise. It's something external, which is belt driven. So now it's our job to check it out one by one to see which pulley when we spin them is going to make noise so we can see where the noise is coming from. All right, guys, as you can see, all back together, brand new water pump and the engine is nice and quiet just as it should be and this one is fixed.